if the families are given to society, agents of destruction, agents of disunity, agents of division, agents, I mean, we are saying uh, people who are not properly, therefore, uh, uh, made up, who, whose uh, personality make has already been affected somewhat. Is that not what we are now witnessing with the level of insecurity across the country? In fact, yesterday somebody captured very, very well. He said, what we are suffering today is the result of 40 years of decay. And for me, socialization that went awry. Mm. You see, people mm. who were not properly socialized suddenly found themselves into society. And most of these people had more, their personality had problems. Already. Already. And gradually, there's no way society will not pay for that mistake. That is what we are paying for. And for society to now come back to what in sociology we call point of social order or equilibrium, yeah. society must go back to the, basics. to the basics. And for me, it is the family institution. How do you begin to recreate families, whether they are single parents or whatever? Society must identify that the family is the basic institution, that it is within the family that some of these values must be inculcated in the child. Otherwise, where you have a child who is not properly socialized, that child is going to constitute a problem to the society. Eventually. You find it in Europe. I mean, that's one of the problems they're they having. They have there, yes. I mean, if you recall when Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister of Britain, and they were having a lot of crisis, one of the things she identified, because she was, she was not a social scientist, to discover that the problems Britain was having at that point in time were problems of social sciences. And she reverted back to Anthony Giddens, mm. who was a sociologist. Mm. Mm. Made him a consultant. Mm. And of course, they went to town, did a lot of researches, and they came back to solu uh, with solutions. Of course, over time, there was peace and then development in Britain. When Cameron came, you could recall the, the, um, the strikes and um, the uh, agitations, uh, agitations yes. of... Of course, they also discovered that these were also issues children of migrants who suddenly found themselves alienated from the mainstream society and what happened no economic space no economic space for them they were not participating they were excluded and they saw that this was a sociological problem and they decided to do what to find a solution so for us our government must identify that the issues we're having today some of the problems are not they are not um criminological problems even though as it were as, as it, it were 100 yes. percent of course you might have a percentage that are purely issues of criminology, Criminal, yes, yes. but most of them are issues of sociology, and we must revert back to sociology to find solutions. Um, it's like I'm back in a classroom, but uh, let, let, let's, <laughs> let's, let's just do this for the benefit of our viewers who also are enjoying this classroom uh, session with us. Now, but uh, you have tried to uh, also look at the question of sociology in Africa. Is it actually a me, or it is a, 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 a a, a proven body of knowledge. Do we really have expert sociologists being uh, given space to either, you know, advise, to either instruct, to either guide, or to either help in the formulation of policies? Do we have that, or is it just a myth that we are dealing with? Thank you, Fola. <laughs> you just brought me back to one of the papers I, I, I wrote, which I called African Sociology, A Myth or Reality. Sociology has not taken root in Africa. When you're talking of practice, of course, in terms of the knowledge base, the knowledge base is there. We have experts, and that's where we have sociology departments in virtually most of the universities in the country. But, but the, the truth of the matter is, the experts, are they being made use of? Has government ever um, called upon a sociologist, for instance? To say, okay, please, we have to a say problem. We have this problem. What solution? I mean, it was maybe the last election, the election of 2011, yes. simply because we have a sociologist in INEC, yes. who is one of the commissioners. What he did was, before the elections, he decided to commission a research on voter apathy. Mm -hmm. Why is it that our people don't come out to, to vote, vote during elections? Mm -hmm. I remember that I was in charge of Ogun State. Okay. And of course, before that election, we went to town, went to the villages, interviewed people to find out what are the issues. And one of the things we discovered that this disconnect between the rulers and, and then the people. The people. Mm. Of course, we, we got those answers. But I could still remember a particular president, whose name I will not mention, yes. who said that people were employed, unemployed because they were going to school to study sociology. And if that person was actually, if he had the knowledge to realize that, 
sociology is the science of human society. That without human society, if you don't have... If you good, don't understand it. If you don't understand human society, there is no way technology can take root. In fact, what we need in Nigeria today is what I call social engineering. How do we re-engineer the society? Because it is only when society is at peace, when you have social order, that you can now begin to develop technology, and then you say that, yes, technology can, science can be applied, which translates into technology. And of course, invariably, it can translate into wealth, and people can have greater well-being. No, but, but some, some may not want to agree with you. If you look at the way the first world, uh, what we call developed world, and the Asian tigers have developed, they seem to have been uh, spontaneous uh, outpouring of uh, uh, creativity, innovation, innovativeness, you know, in thinking. In, it, it wasn't like I said the, the, the societies were, were on even kill when those things happened. No, no, no. You, you know, the, the truth is that when you have issues of development, if you go back to history, for instance, let's go back to Europe of 1789, when you had the French Revolution. Yes. One of the things you discover that one society has social problems like this, it engenders what? Thinkers, philosophers, sociologists. That was why we had people like Auguste Comte, Spencer, Rousseau, John Locke. Of course, people went to town to begin to think, why are we having well, yes, these problems? Yes. Why are we having, for instance, who, who, which government, for instance, has the Boronu state government in the Northeast commissioned to say, a, why a is research? This why why are we having yeah. this problem why is this in the Northeast?